All right, now it's clear. Okay, we don't have any background noise now. So, okay. So, okay, now can y'all hear me better? All right, so I'm gonna ping my comment and we're gonna get back started. Come on in, come on in. All right. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Okay, so we cleaned off our brows and like I said, we are we arched them. So I took a razor. Um, before I did the razor, I cleaned her off with alcohol so she didn't have any oil. And then I took a razor and I just uh, cleaned her hair even though it, it looks real clean, I made sure I got all the little bitty hairs from around. Now, she's had a previous microblading service from another artist. So, we're going to go in and do a little color correction. And we're going to stand out this tail a little bit and make it a little sharper. Um, we went through the stencils, which um, the stencils come 50 in the pack. And it's uh, 10 of each style. We have the high, the soft, the S shape, and the straight. So we put them up against her brow. Of course, not the straight. Um, the S shape's not a win either. Soft arch, no. We were looking at the high arch, but we decided to go with the curve. So what I did was I took some scissors and cut, you know, the stencil right down the middle. And then I put a little cut right there so I can adjust the stencils with. And we're about to apply the stencil. All right, one at a time. So turn this way a little bit for me. So just basically peel it off. And I got these from the Perfect Brow Stencil. Uh, if you need the link, just Send me a DM and say I need the stencil link. So I put it right there at her arch first. Come here. Boom. And like I said, you're not married to the shape of the stencil. So if it's too wide, you can bring the brow, bring it in and make the brow smaller or thinner, however. Boom, right there. So we have a stencil on. You see that? Have you guys ever used stencils before? If you have, put yes in the comments. Um, you think this might help your brow mapping. And this is for professionals and for people who are just doing their own brows. This, also, this helps also. We added the stencils in my um, brow kit. We made it the 60 second brow kit so people would be able to outline their brows really fast. Mm -hmm. And like that. So like I said, you're not married to the shape of the stencil. So what we're gonna do is we are um we are going to outline it using a waterproof pencil. Now, if you want to use like some brow powder and fill your brows in, take it off and go from there, you can do that. If you're outlining the brows just to do a, a wax or get a, a line to do tweezers, you can do that. The stencils is just to take the work out of brow mapping. So what I'm gonna do is use a waterproof pencil and the Perfect Brow Pencil sells these also. And just basically do a quick outline you can't mess it up because it's not gonna go past the stencil line just go against it in the inside okay and just like that Mm 
Okay, so we outlined. I'm just gonna go over it one more time just to make sure it's good and black and Oh, that's good to know. That's good to know. I'm happy about that. I want to uh, reach out to some more barbers this year when I'm doing my classes. I'm, I think I'm going to do something catered to more to barbers and to people in the medical community so they can add um, in the, the brows um, into their business. Okay, so you guys ready to see how these brows look? Let me let me get some yes in the comments. Let me see. You ready to see? And it's just this simple. We just pull. pull I should have put a little thing on her hair. But we just pull it off. And voila. Okay. Brow mapping made so simple. Brow mapping made so simple. And as promised, as promised, um, I'm going to show you how to do any adjustments. So right here, of course, I am going to mark for how far I need to come over. So just from her eye, the ducts of her eye, I don't want to go past that. Oh wow, you in Vegas. They do they do this a lot in Vegas. Um so marking that and then I'm gonna mark it. I mean I'm uh yeah, I'm gonna mark her in so you see how hers is already tattooed a little thicker. But I'm gonna just go in and adjust it to how I want it. Gonna work with what she has, but make this sharper, okay? So we are brow mapping for a micro shading service. And for those of you who wanna get into brows, like you can use these stencils for any service. So whether it's razor, waxing, tweezing, if you wanna, um, if you want to lay it out, you could just, you know, lay it out before you even get to, before you even start. Like, say if you wanted to pluck, if you wanted to wax, you could put the wax on right here, take it off. If you wanted to do tinting, you can do that. And this is, this is the brow mapping. I teach it in all my classes. So, whether it's, um, we have the eyebrows one-on-one -on -one coming up, we have... The microblading coming up. We have the makeup class coming up. So our, our, in every class, of course, you know, I love brows. So we will definitely have a part where we talk about mapping out your brows. So I'm just going to kind of highlight around with this white pencil if it wants to work right now. Hold on, let me sharpen this on. Okay, and I just wanna highlight just a little bit, just so my outline will stand out. So if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments, or when I get off of the live, you can send me a DM. But just know that we do have uh, three classes coming up. Microblading, I mean micro shading, eyebrows 101, and um, a makeup class for the everyday person and beginning makeup artist, okay? That was to be in December. The link's already in the bio if you want to sign up. And yes, they do come with your kits. Okay. So just a little bit more. I want to make this real sharp because I want to make sure we make this sharp over here on the end. Okay. 
Yeah, come on and retake it. A lot of people take it and then what y'all do is y'all take the class and then don't practice and forget everything. But retake it so we can um get you back out there. Because it's still a hot service and brows are never going anywhere. And as you as COVID taught us when we had to wear those masks, that's all you can see. Okay. So check her out. We used the curve stencil on her. We prepped her for her microblading service, and it took us literally less than 60 seconds to map out her brows. Um, I'm going to use, I use Zenza for my microblading service. I use the Zenza. This is what I use. Um, you can buy it on the Artistry Brow website. If you need the link, uh, ask me. And then I use a step two for my um, service when I once I start. So this is my numbing combo. If they use it on fill a thing. So if you need this link, send me a link in my bio. Send just send me a message. Let me know what you need. So I'm literally going to put the Zenza. Take some out. Just put it right there. That should be enough for this young lady. And then, I'm just gonna take it on, still look cool. Right across. I'm not gonna rub off our outline. I'm just gonna set it on top. Okay, so. You just joining us. We outlined her using the Curve stencil. Um, you can order all these products from the Perfect Brow stencil. Uh, I am going to do a before and after of her brows in my stories later on. So right now we're going to set her so she can numb. Right, here we go. Put a little wrap on it and voila she's prepped for her service okay so if you guys have any questions send me a dm um if you want to come to the class the link's in the bio or i can just shoot you the link and if you want to know about any of the products that i use on this live send me a dm i will send you my vendors um, no problem, and you can go shopping. They are having a sale right now. So, yeah. So, I will talk to you guys soon, and thank you again. If there's anything else you want to see pertaining to brows, beauty business, uh, send me a DM. I'll do a live on it. Thank you.